No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at Albert Park, home of the Australian Grand Prix since 1996. And home to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria where the drivers have 16 corners and 3.3 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles an hour. The close proximity of the barriers makes accidents inevitable and recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. and They've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Iceman lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Norris, Ricardo, Charles Leclerc and Verstappen, Hamilton, Albon, Vettel and Sergio Perez, Gasly, Ocon, Lance Stroll and Kvyat, Russell, Magnussen, Nicholas Latifi and Antonio Giovinazzi, Hubert, a Williams, that's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Let's convert this pole position into a win today. Good luck. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Season 2 of F1 2020. Technically 2021 season right now. Um, so as you can clearly tell, McLaren is performing quite well this season, I think. I thought we were would have been hit a bit harder uh, during the regulation changes during the season, but we came out a little bit ahead. Uh, we did, did a lot of practice on the circuit, went through, went through our practice sessions. McLaren's been happy, our engineers been happy, car's been running well. Uh, we just got to capitalize. Um, now that's good. So Lando Norris is third. We're worst that we're first by half a second almost. I think five tenths. Now, the difference now with Season 2 is we're going to go with short race or short races, so 25% race instead of 50. This whole thing makes things a little bit more interesting. Um, we'll have a bit more grip. We could technically run softs. Really do like, well, I think we could probably manage what, no stops, but we're not going to do that. We're, we'll play it and see. Maybe we'll do stop 7 or 8. Lab 7 or 8. Uh, 16 laps. Fuel. I'll keep that all standard. I don't really want to mess with that right now. But you know what? Let's go ahead and dive in. It's season two of uh, F1 2020. It's our 2021 season. Let's see if we can do better this season than we did last year. Hoping less DNFs and less crashing into people. Uh, also, as you guys would have noticed, we have Anton Hubert and Santiago Moreno. Okay, now let's get a decent launch here from these guys. Run wide there a little bit. Take a nice and easy the first few corners. Make sure our tires are up to temperature. Supposed to be fourth gear through there. You don't want to go for the movie, but that's... Alright, we're looking good so far. Run wide there a little bit, it's not good.
Okay, Bottas with the fastest lap. Gotta make sure we're within a second with him on all times, pretty much. Lost a lot of time there. The track is clear. Green flag. Some information on Alden. They're retiring from the race. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Really bad line for those two corners. Uh, I gotta watch the turn in here. Still a very late turn in. Caution, caution. That's where Albon went off. Bottas is quick, we're pretty evenly matched here. Again, late turn in. Let's go even earlier. That's the one corner that really messes with me in Australia. Oh, Latifi's out. Going too slow to the first corner. I definitely could be closer to him. I went a little bit too deep. Yellow flag. 
Caution, caution, yellow flags ahead. No overtaking through the caution zone. Be careful until you see the greens. Okay, clear. Cut that corner a little bit there, but whatever. Not just to too many gears there. He's pulling away a little bit. Concentrating well, hard here. This lap, give us the best in lap you can. to start falling away soon. Okay, going into the pit stop, let's see if we can undercut him. Um, so we're going to go into mediums. Keep it in standard mix. Downforce 5. Alright, let's go. Now. Not too bad. Not too bad of a lap so far. We've been doing pretty good. Uh, being consistent, <coughs> I think. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Watch our braking distance here. Of course, these are cold tires. Maybe we're going so much faster through there, actually.
Lando is in the pits. Lando in the pits. Is that Bottas coming out right now? Oh yes, we undercut him. Go into Rich to uh, get a little bit more space from him. Uh, let's save our ERS, let's recharge. Save the rest of the fuel. So when we are in dire need. It's like this is a race between just Bottas and I now. And Bada still had the fastest lap. Ah, it's two mistakes that corner. Best time is 125.5. Okay, at 7 tens down. Let's see if we can do better. I think we can go, can go faster through that section. That could have ended really bad there. It's being very sloppy right now, which is not good. Down six tenths. Uh, let's push, let's see what we can do. I can take that corner actually a little bit wider. I 
hit him a little bit faster through there as well. There's four laps of fuel remaining. Just want to go a little bit slow through that first that corner. Green, green, that's good. Can we get a green in the third sector? It's not gonna be a green sector, no good. Jeez, that last sector just totally threw me off. Just gotta bring the car home pretty much. I'll go rich all last lap, I think. Or actually this lap, I guess, because don't want him to catch up to me here. Really back up there. All right, ultimate lap. Some information on Norris. They have some kind of mechanical problem. Two laps of fuel remaining. Alright, let's go hard. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Cut that a little bit hard. But it is what it is. A little bit slow there.
first place. Awesome. Oh yeah. Well done. Thanks, Chef. Thanks, McLaren. Thank you, engineers. This is definitely a way to start the season. Driver of the day is Lewis Hamilton. I'm very curious as to why. Uh, but what a great, what a great race. Another race and another win for McLaren. These races definitely seem like they're a bit more intense. I really got to focus a bit more. We only have Andrew one strategy. A so, victory today. what a victory. Apart from the rest. I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions, and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of Definitely, I think a lot of today, driving. I took apart my results. Logitech wheel. Uh, cleaned it out and uh, readjusted the pedals a bit. The so we should be good. Congratulations to everyone on the team securing the win and proving they're a force to be reckoned with. Can we look back at our first season in F1? We DNF'd so bad in Australia, and now we finished first in Australia in our first in our second season, our first race of the year. We did what we could. We worked as hard as we could there. Happy with the result. Very, very happy with the result. What a great start to a season. So let's review the driver's standings. Iceman takes over the lead of the driver's Ooh, championship. So now, close let's together. Discuss, Ants, who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the yeah, boring choice at this yeah. point. But Lab you can't Norris. argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. McLaren supplant the previous leaders, taking control of the championship. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend There's a good two points. Be sure to join myself and Lando Norris is up there. Valtteri Bottas, Lewis Hamilton, Esteban Ocon. Lance Stroll. Who, what do we have you guys? Latifi's out. Alex Albon was out. San Diego Moreno and Anton Hubert Williams. They went up a little bit. Haas. George Russell. Oh, George Russell's running, racing for Haas. Okay. That was a definitely a great race. What a what a way to start season two of F1 2020. Destroyed Vettel there in their rivalry breakdown. All right, what do we have? Okay, for an 80 weekly reserves. Next race is gonna be Bahrain in three days. So with, oh yeah, I guess we'll show, show you since this is the first episode of the season where we're sitting at right now. Uh, we do have, I think, uh, we're working on a couple things in the chassis department. So if we look at our R&D tree, actually not progress. Yeah, we're looking working on our drag, redu drag reduction. Uh, so currently our standings right now, we're about middle of the pack. Then as you can see, we tanked Kawhi. We were right behind Red Bull last season and maybe around there. And now we are about in the middle of the pack. So maybe we're going to see how the next race goes, how Bahrain goes. And if we are if we want to win first place again, we're going to up the difficulty since I don't think us being in the middle of the pack, at the top of the middle of the pack, we should be placing first every race. Uh, so we'll adjust that as necessary. So what are we standing at right now anyway? Uh, reliability, we are not too bad. We're third from the top. Wow, Mercedes dropped a lot. Okay. Uh, chassis, we're middle of the pack. Okay, that needs to be improved for sure. Our air department is but middle of the pack as well. That needs to be improved. Red Bull did... Uh, wow, they did really well there. And energy stores. Uh, power, we're not too bad. We're faster than... Uh, Red Bull, wow. And, uh, okay, not too bad. Sounds good. Well, that should be the end of the episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll start doing uh, more and more of these. Uh, hopefully, we'll burn it through this season a bit faster than we did last time. But if you guys liked the video, hit the like button. Make a comment below if you have any advice for me, any changes you want to see, anything we can do differently. If you'd like to hit the like button, subscribe down below since uh, you're, then you'll be notified when these videos come out. And we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.